My name's Michael Kaufman, and I'm on luggage crew. That's Keswick Kemp. I don't know what he does. Right now, we're dealing with probably the most difficult job on choir tour, beside, you know, all of the other ones. This is loading luggage. He should get a shot of Matt in there. Matt is busy, busy stuffing away. I'm taking a break because I'm being interviewed. And we have, I don't know, somewhere between three and 4,000 items that we need loaded every day. Sometimes several times a day because people are picky, but that's not a big deal. Right now I'm atop a bag of a bunch of hang up bags and sleeping bags and air mattresses. I'm gonna keep talking for a little while, so I'm not gonna load more, but my first step on when I load a bag is, oh, I don't even remember this one. I don't think I've ever loaded this one this tour. Well, first we get rid of all the little stuff and just go for the big ones. All right. And when I get here, I hand it off to someone else, and then they will put it in a line of four along the bottom, a line of four along the top, Let's see, this first bay has 25 bags in it, eight on each row. We've, we've come up with a new, or a system this year that seems to be working for us for this amount of people. And we take, oh, it is Germans. It rivals the Germans in precision. That's, I, that would not be an underestimate. Or an overstatement, rather. And we all take turns on being in the pit pushing bags in, taking bags off for people that are needy. <laughs> and we do this probably four times a day on some days. Some days are good, but that's luggage crew. I've been on choir tour one time. This is my first spring tour. We're going to Haderstown, Indiana. Hagerstown, Indiana. <laughs> My favorite thing so far, I love the services. They've been really wonderful. God's presence has been in these services so far. That's probably my favorite thing. Um, another thing is just the traveling and the fellowship with friends. A lot of fun, good times are had. My favorite stop so far is Walmart. This is my uh, second time on tour. We are lining up and getting ready to sing at IHC in the uh, Tuesday evening service. This is my fourth year on choir tour. I traveled as a senior in high school and I'm a junior in college. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Well, here we are at IHC 2015, I guess. The choir is here. We are going to be singing at IHC and we will be, um, we sang last night, we'll be singing tonight in the alumni gathering and we will be singing in the mass choir tomorrow. Um, IHC is a fun time for us. It's affectionately called the IHC fashion show. Mr. Going says we like, he likes to say that we need to wear our hunting clothes when we come to IHC. My favorite stop would probably be um, the service in Corden in Indiana. Um, it may be kind of interesting to know that I was actually born in Corden and the church that we sang at. Um, I went there when I was two days old. Um, but don't start likening me to Caleb Crouch. This will be my second, I guess you would call it. We did the spring tour. This is my second. Second spring tour? Uh, no, I mean, we did the fall tour. This would be my first spring tour. Well, of course, many would know I get to play the harmonica and be in the quartet. That's a lot of fun. I like meeting new people. So I'm a people person, so meeting new people would probably be the favorite thing of mine. Of course, my hometown. I uh, love singing at my church. They're always a good church to sing to. This is my second time on spring tour, but this is my third choir tour. And so far, it has been amazing. Uh, we've seen, sang in many different places and it's just been awesome. I truly enjoy IHC and getting to see uh, different people within the holiness movement. Also, I got to meet up with one of my friends who's actually a student at GBS now. This is going to be my first spring tour. Yeah, first spring tour. I don't know, I just like the, I like the downtime. It's fun to hang out with people and 
chill out, you know? It's a good time. I would say to anyone out there that um, just isn't sure about joining choir, just remember this. It's pretty much always better than what you first think, so keep that in mind. This is my first spring choir tour. My favorite stop has been in North Carolina because it had a comfortable bed. <laughs> Hello, my name is Wendell Carper, and this is my fifth spring choir tour. My favorite stop would have had to have been Corden, Alabama. No, wait, not Alabama. Where was that? Indiana. Indiana, Corden, Indiana. It might as well have been from Alabama. Okay. That was my favorite service. Uh, the spirit very well moved in that service. Had a good spirit there. So this is my first time on choir tour. It's been really fun. I like traveling, so going to all the different places, all the different states, it's pretty cool. Um, right now we're in Alabama, and my favorite stop was probably the Amish stop, because we got to like, we got to talk to them, we got to go to their houses, we got to, you know, they were really open about answering some of the misconceptions that we might have had, or things that we might have thought or not thought about them. And also I got to go home, and just Saturday I got to go visit a lot of the old Johns and places I like to go. This is my first time being on Spring Choir Tour. My favorite thing so far on choir tour would definitely have to be IHC. Because of the spiritual atmosphere and being able to uh, hang out with a bunch of my friends up north that I haven't seen in a while, well, it's all together a good time. This is my second and last choir tour. All right, my favorite stop this far has definitely, definitely been the Amish. It's super cool because you get a ride in all the buggies and see all the unique ways that they live and the food is like on point. It's great. We are tearing down our sound equipment. We got a new sound system this year and it is amazing. Looks like we got down to mostly the cords, just wrapping up the cords right now. Most people are doing that. Right now I'm just rolling up a cable trying to help these guys out. I'm, I'm supposed to just be on riser crew, but you know. There are multiple ways you can do wrapping up the cords, but uh, you know, yeah, you got your standard. Anyone can do it, like that. 
Or you can get a little fancy and try to preserve the cable's life a little and change the direction the cable goes. So it goes once that way, then it goes out the middle of the loops. So outside, and then goes the other way, goes inside. And that way you don't end up with cables that look like they've been taken through some sort of spring or something. You know? I think I am going to find that bag wherever it is, and it is not anywhere. There it is. And put the speaker stands in it. My first year, and maybe my second year, I was on Riser Crew. And then ever since then, I've been on Sound Crew. So I've been doing this for a while. These are the big uh, cases that we haul our monitors and speakers in. And we lift them up just like that and we put them right inside. Michael's taking care of the speakers right now and this is the monitor box. And it looks like he's taking care of the monitors as well. So I'll grab this here speaker, put this in here. Where's the second speaker? Probably over there. You have the speaker cord. Colin's wrapping up the speaker cord. I got the speaker, we'll put that in here. Once he gets that over here, we'll put it on top of here. We'll put the thing back away, load it onto the bus, and we'll be on our way. Another thing that I try to keep up with is the uh, old duct tape ball over here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make this thing as big as possible without using excess duct tape, but good way to put ways to use, you know. And that was Matt Modlin. And uh, that person is Kendra Blake. Are you serious? He headed up the luggage crew and needed to be there. And that was Colin. <laughs> Colin Gardner. <laughs> that won, a guy and a girl, Ryan Green, he must have managed to find some study time there, and Olivia, Olivia Dodrell, those students. But Mr. Stephen Nix is this year's most humorous. Give it up for Stephen. The most talking to give up for Troy. <laughs> We had several people that, that could have qualified for being the quietest, but Carissa, Carissa got the prize this time. Trey got the prize for the loudest. Joel, best yeah, friend. This one, you guys looking sharp and looking good. Sarah Stetler was. Sarah Stetler. Way to go. Keep that hair looking good. Played the most rough. We had to make this happen and manufacture this one, but Brother Paul Stetler did it because yeah. we forgot all about playing rook until he thought of it. And Jeanette Parsons won this prize. Yeah. It's coming up and it's on my list. It's Kendra. <laughs> Woo! 
And then Mr. Choir Tour, the person that you chose that embodies everything that a good choir member should be in a male choir member is Mr. Colin Gardner. Jeff Colin! I give a shout out to Brother Going for leading the choir and to, and persevering through his sickness and for the spiritual atmosphere he placed around us and being able to pray with us. And I give a shout out to you, Brother Case, for driving long ways and being able to stay, stay up and drive the bus and for keeping us safe. I give a shout out to Mr. Case, he's pretty awesome. He drives his bus like a zero turn mower and I'm not really sure how that's possible, but he does. And then the Goings, like, always like so helpful and passionate about what they're doing you know mr going he's he's passionate about our lives he's passionate about the music about the message of the music and the way we portray that in the services just want to give out a shout out to mr case and mr going Woo <laughs> and it's all right give a shout out to mr case hey case i don't know mr case is one of the greatest bus drivers, I think what Hope Sound has had. He's a thoughtful guy. He's got us some extra stuff. Always a cheerful guy. I like looking back when we're singing. He's always waving us down. Smile, make sure we're happy, and just an encouragement to us all. The Goings are just great people. They, um, I like both of them. They're always cheerful. Brother Going really knows what he's talking about. And, how to lead us and he knows his music and um, he's just an encouragement to me and his wife is always there to be the mom if you need one on the tour. Our bus driver Mr. Case is a phenomenal driver. He um, gets the bus into places that I never thought it could fit and also he's always in the services supporting us and getting us to smile and sing hard and give it our best and worship God as we sing. He's a phenomenal bus driver and a phenomenal Christian example for us. Mr. and Mrs. Going are wonderful as well. Mr. Going is a wonderful director. He's um, helped keep us motivated and into the services. And he always has a spirit of worship, which I really appreciate. Mrs. Going is always there to support Mr. Going. She's always in the services, supporting us as well. And she's a wonderful choir mom. Mr. Case is by far the best bus driver in the entire world. Not only is he the best driver, he also brings us water and just gives an amazing spirit to the services and is just a fantastic guy. The Goings are fantastic as well. They, Mr. Going is a great conductor. He always leads with a sense of spirit and a, uh, always wants to have a sense of God and worship in our services and it just is an amazing time. Mr. Case, you were awesome. You're an awesome bus driver. I enjoy having you drive us and you also do a lot of stuff behind the scenes like give us water when during intermission and stuff like that. You're a really, really cool guy. Mr. Going, you're amazing, you're hilarious, you're fun to travel with, and you pick really good songs for us to sing. Mrs. Going is also awesome, and she helps a lot in the, in the, uh, on, the on the tour, and um, she does a lot of work behind the scenes, and we couldn't have it without her. Well, we're at the end of a wonderful choir tour this year. This happens to be my 10th Hope Sound Bible College Spring Choir Tour, and I would have to say this numbers is one of the best. Uh, and the reason for that is just a spirit of camaraderie, of uh, spiritual zeal and, uh, and fervor, I would say, among the young people. This didn't just happen on tour, but it happened well before we ever hit the road with our young people spending time in the prayer room preparing themselves spiritually as well as musically for this tour. We're very grateful for all the Lord's help in spite of all the sickness and, and uh, everything that goes along with that. We'd have to say this has still been at the top of one of the, uh, one, one, at least at the top five choir tours that I've been a part of. Uh, Hope Sound, I don't know if I'm really actually counting that, but it's been a wonderful tour and we thank the Lord for that. I got second in the banana eating contest. Only one and a half, only a half of a banana left to tie the first place person. So I think that deserves some recognition. 